Hi, it's Lee, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the automation I've created, which is going to send you an alert when a heavy favorite concedes a goal. Now, this doesn't have to happen just once. This is going to trigger up to five times, not necessarily when they're losing, but it could be when they're leading and the underdogs pull a goal back. Again, it's going to be totally free to download from the Bet Angel forum. So let's take a look of how it works. As always, the first thing you want to do is download, then import the rules file. Now we're going to take a little look at the file itself. So we have three main rules and then five follow-up rules. Each one has a signal in order for the next one to work. So the first one is very simple. It's going to keep the order. It's going to keep the order of the favoritism before the match commences. That means if, say for instance, the favourite start losing and their odds drift above the underdogs, it's not going to associate the underdog as being a favourite. It's going to lock in whoever was a favourite before kickoff. And next we have a signal for the heavy favourite. Now this is going to look from 5 minutes to 30 seconds before kickoff. And it's going to have a number of parameters which needs to be met. And the first one is the favourite's back price has to be less than 1.85. This is totally editable. If you wanted to change it lower, 1.8, 1.7, that is totally up to you. But I just feel 1.85 is sufficient enough to identify a heavy favourite. Then next, we're looking for the traded volume of 10,000. This can be edited again to higher or less, but I feel that 10,000 is a good starting point considering we're looking five minutes before kickoff. And then number of selections equals to three. It's because we're looking at the match odds market where it's home, away and draw. We don't want to accidentally put this on overs and unders where there's two selections. And then the next is a signal set condition. We have to have a signal set of order in the market to be set with a value. And that comes back to keep the order. If the order hasn't been kept, then this next rule is not going to fire. And if we take a look at the keep order rule, we can see that it was a signal of order set with a value of one. And then the next rule we have is switch to market. So once a favorite concedes a goal, you're going to get the actual market pop up. And this is going to happen up to five times every time the favorite concedes a goal. And it's going to look from five minutes to two hours. And if we take a look at the conditions, we can see we've got a historical relative odds condition, which means the current in position one back price now is greater than it was 180 seconds ago plus 35 ticks. And I feel that this is kind of a safe zone. 35 ticks for me is consistent with a goal being scored. Now what we've got to think about is if there's a red card, is the favourite going to drift 35 ticks if there's a red card? It's, it is possible, but I think with 35 ticks, you're just outside of that zone of a false positive. And um, the back price, less than 500. And a signal set condition to good on the market. So if you go back to the signal for the heavy favourite, we have set the signal for the value of 1. Then the next condition is the time since unsuspended. I like to give it more than 30 seconds. You can give it more than that if you wanted to. Just gives the market a little bit of time to reform after the goal. I also have a unsuspended time condition of less than 300 seconds. And then the market must be in play. So then moving on to the play sound rules. There are five in total. And they are virtually all the same. And once the alert is triggered, you will get a pop-up indicating which team has conceded with an audio alert. And also you will be notified in the watch list as well. And the way this works is the switch to market has an incremental signal, which means on the first time it will trigger one, on the second time it will trigger two, all the way up to five. And then each play sound rule will be waiting for its number value. So now let's load the markets up and have a look at an example of this automation in play. So if we go down to soccer and search all matches, right click on today's date, and select all match odds. Then if we minimize the fixtures, then we can see if there's any more hiding below. And if there is, right click and select all them as well. Then add them to Guardian. 
and don't forget this can be used as a servant. Then next we want to apply the rules to all markets. Another thing you may want to do as well is restrict your refresh. If it's a busy day and you have hundreds of markets loaded up into Guardian, the last thing you want to be doing is wasting your refresh time looking at matches that are going to occur in five or six hours time. There is absolutely no need for that to occur. So what you can do by restricting the refresh, I look for five minutes before and 7,300 seconds after the event which means it's only going to be looking at matches five minutes before and in play. And then once you've done that, remove any matches that are currently in play, as these won't have met the keep order criteria. At this point, it's a good idea to select each match, have a look through and see if there's a heavy favourite. If not, you may as well delete it as it is taking up valuable refresh time. Now if you highlight a match and take a look at the automation tab at the bottom, we can see which rules have triggered. Now we can see the keep order has triggered, but the signal for heavy favorite has not, because there isn't a heavy favorite in this match. But looking at the Real Madrid first CSKA Moscow, we can see that Real Madrid were the heavy favorites at 1.31. So this is a perfect candidate for this automation. So if we move forward close to kickoff time, we can now see that the signal for the heavy favourite has started to initialise. Which means if Real Madrid can see the goal at any point in the game, we should receive an alert. And there we go, Real Madrid have conceded this event a goal. Is now in it play. Is now 1-0 to CSKA Moscow. And this is apparent by the current odds, but it's important to double check. And we also receive a pop-up alert and a notification on the watch list. And if you have a quick look at the in-play scanner, it confirms that CSKA Moscow are beating Real Madrid 1-0. As it happens, CSKA Moscow went on to win 3-0, and there were in fact three notifications from this automation. And once again, this automation is free to download on the BetAngel forum.